In this video, we're going to look at a problem that is very commonly missed by students. Fif negative 15 minus the square root of negative 200 over 20, and we're asked to simplify this as much as possible. A common error I see students do is they want to reduce the 15 and the 20 and get negative 3 and 4. The problem with this is we are not allowed to do any reducing if there is any adding or subtracting in the fraction. We are only allowed to reduce if the expression is factored. The problem is this numerator currently has no common factors that we can factor out and use to reduce. So instead, I want to move our focus to the negative 200 under the radical and see if there's any simplifying we can do with the negative 200. And we recognize that the negative is going to come out as an i. But for the 200, we have to factor. 200 is 2 times 100. 100 is 2 times 50. 50 is 2 times 25. 25 is 5 times 5. And because it's a square root, we're looking for pairs. So we've got a pair of 2's and a pair of 5's that can come out of this radical. So we now have negative 15 minus. 2 and 5 coming out, 2 times 5 is 10. i from the negative, and left under the square root, we still have a 2 left in the root, all over 20. Looking at this now, now we are able to factor that numerator, pulling out a common factor of negative 5, leaving behind 3 plus 2i root 2 over 20. And now that the expression is factored, now we can reduce the negative 5 and 20. Dividing both by negative 5, we'll leave a negative 4 in the denominator. And so we end up with a final answer of 3 plus 2i root 2 all over negative 4. Again, before we reduce any fraction, it must be factored first. To help us factor, we'll want to simplify the radical first. After simplifying the radical, we were able to identify a common factor and then reduce that common factor to get our final solution. 